Alright everybody, welcome back to another WWE action figure review. Today we're going to be opening up the Elite Series 84, the Big Dog, Roman Reigns, aka the Tribal Chief, the head of the table himself. So let's look at this box here, shall we? So he definitely comes with a lot of few things. You get a picture of him back from the whole pandemic. So, uh, there you go. If you guys want to pause and read it, you guys are welcome to. So, let me just zoom back. There you go. Go ahead and pause it right about now. And these are the figures that we will be re reviewing, hopefully, very soon. We got Rhea Ripley, who I also like. Buddy Murphy, who's no longer with the WWE. Um, Sheamus. Angel Garza, you now he's in NXT, and then two of the Jeff Hardys, which I was happy to complete, but I will explain about that later. But for right now, let's review, of course, the big dog himself, aka the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. And yes, we got another Roman Reigns for Elite Series 88, which we'll be seeing very, very soon. So, uh... Without further ado, let's focus on 84. Alright everybody, so we have the big dog slash the trifle chief, Roman Reigns. So, uh, let's get in right into it. So, he definitely comes with a lot of those classic interchangeable hands here. So, the ones that he has on his arms right now are the fist. And then, of course, you have the open slash kind of microphone hands. You're going to have to add some, like, Play-Doh or some clay that doesn't get too sticky in the hand to make him hold the mic or hold something if he wanted to and of course he has his classic Hawaii hands you know good old Hawaii hands so that's uh pretty nice so there you go and of course you have his classic serious ponytail head sculpt here very uh, very unique very nice and then of course you have the wreck everyone and leave t-shirt which was that's that was his uh new gimmick change as a heel because nobody wasn't taking him seriously back in 2015 slash 2020 so hey it happens at least you get a good t-shirt so let's go ahead and do all the articulations of the figure move the arms and legs and see how it feels in the hands and stuff all right so right off the bat here so we got some Knees and dropping, of course, through left and right. Kind of like he's about to throw a spear at you. We got some uh, leg rotations here on the hip side here, on this left and right. And of course, since he's an elite, you gotta split the legs. Uh, he can only kick forward about this much, but not all the way. And he cannot kick back because of the buttocks area, so that's probably not gonna go anywhere. So, um,. Get some good old arm rotations. No double jointed elbows yet. Uh, arm swivel here. And then arm swivel on this side here. Very, very good. It's not like it's going to pop off on you or anything. So that's pretty good. Of course, you got your classic favorite 60 degrees. Um, of course, you got the little hand gestures here with the regular fist hands. You just um, you push them like so, push them up, and then push them down, like so, but just think just a little bit because of the gauntlets are in the way, and then you just spin them around, same thing on this side, here, there you go, up and down, and then a good old swivel here, alright, and then we got some boot rotations here on his shoes here, um, Try to bend the foot here. Hopefully it's not too stuck. There we go. Got to just do it a little bit by force and it won't pop out. If it does, take it back because you never know if that will ever happen or not. So, same thing on this side here. There you go. Very unique. And of course, my all-time favorite, the ankle pivot. And then you get some ab crunching going on here and then a little bit going up. If you wanted to take off his vest... All you gotta do is just uh, pull it like so, if you want to. But um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's just pull it off because, you know, this is what he looks like without him wearing his vest. Because that's what he kind of looks like when he's wrestling now, since he's no longer wearing the vest and stuff. So 
There, so there you go. So if you want to see the ab crunches one more time, there you go. He got his classic Samoan tattoos going all the way into his arm there, so that's pretty good. Head goes 60 degrees, and then if you wanted to pop the head off, like so. Come on now. Got to do a little bit by force. There you go. Take this. Bada bing, bada boom. You push it right in there, and you hear a snap. I heard a snap. And there you go, that's what he looks like with his ponytail, having his hair up. Ready to give somebody the good old Superman punch right there. Um, let's go ahead and put on a t-shirt. And yes, it is Velcro, so you can take it off and off if you wanted to, which makes cloth t-shirts the best, rather than just owning a rubber t-shirt. Which, owning a rubber t-shirt is kind of terrible and it sucks, so there you have it. So that's what his t-shirt looks like. Wreck everyone and leave, and he does. And uh, I know he might have a little bit of like a string going on there. But if you don't like this right there, all you gotta do is take a pair of scissors and you just cut it off here. Not all of it off, because you don't want to cut the sleeves off. Unless if you want to, but if I were you, just get, a, get, two, of these, get two of these action figures and then just have one t-shirt with the sleeves and without the sleeves so you can make them look ripped if you wanted to so but hey, it's your choice you can do whatever but for me i'm going to keep the sleeves on him and just keep it that way so of course we have the interchangeable hand so let's go ahead and get that done and over with real quick so we don't want him to have anybody to punch and you just want him to have regular hands like this you just push him in like so and then you test it and don't worry it doesn't affect your uh your peg and the arm and stuff so there you go and here are all of my Roman Reigns I mean I know that's not all of them because I know I have a bunch of more of them which I'll show you in a second but I do have the classic shield Roman Reigns I also have the um, three elite pack of the shield for Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose aka John Moxley and then of course you still have like your main um, Roman Reigns from 2015 all the way to 2019 slash 2020. So, uh, yep, Roman Reigns hasn't changed. He's still kind of the same person, kind of doing his thing. So, yeah, there you go. And uh, if you want to see more of my Roman Reigns, here's a bonus clip. And see, there you go. He's next with good old Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley with Seth Rollins here. So, yep, I start off with this Roman Reigns, one, two, three, four, five, and then there you go, and then add the other ones together, and there you go. And also, here's one more Seth Rollins, just in case you guys are wondering, so, there you go. So, I have about, like, at least eight or nine Roman Reigns figures, and, uh, well, actually, spoil, sp spoil alert, actually, stay tuned for the next review. We got Elite Series 88. Roman Reigns. So that one will be my 10th Roman Reigns figure that I have ever owned in my collection. So uh, there you go. I might get an 11th or 12th figure of Roman Reigns and then that might be about it. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I, I kind of like Roman Reigns and I know some people don't like him, but that, that's alright. It's your opinion and whatnot. But don't hate on the guy too much. He's still a good person, good human being and all that good stuff and has a great family. So I think that's about it on Roman Reigns, you guys. So I hope we got. I kind of hope that you enjoyed this review. If so, uh, make sure you hit that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications on. But kick the little bell icon, which is called notifications. Click on that and stay tuned for more videos, either like these, Lego videos, and so much more. So uh, thank you guys so, so much and uh, stay positive out there. Peace out.